Okay, so I wasn't gonna do a video on this little project today, but uh, well, so here's what we're on. It's just a two layer repair. Um, and we had to replace the wood and things like that. And we're gonna, we kept some of the, the three tab shingles. We're gonna lay those back down. That way it still looks even. I recommend never doing a two layer repair. I tried to talk them into the entire side, but uh, it wasn't in there. It wasn't in a line with their plans. So anyway, what I'm excited about is I had to match up these shingles. And I ended up getting the HDZ, which uh, is a new shingle by GAF. And I didn't know that they had them in stock yet or that they were already pushing out the regular GAF because uh, these are mixable for the time being, as, as I hear. And eventually, um, the GAF, the old GAF shingles, like if you're doing a hail job, you know, you got insurance to approve the roof or whatever, um, or you didn't get them to approve the roof. You will be able to say that they don't make that GAF color anymore. You send that shingle into ITEL. That's from some of the more advanced people understand that. But uh, so yeah, this shingle here is a whole lot different. I should have got maybe a Tamco or anything to match this two-layer old roof, but I decided to go with GAF because I like GAF a lot. They sponsor my free roofs. I'll probably have them sponsor in the 2020 Roof Olympics. And yeah, this has a whole lot of technology. So technology here the strike zone and layer lock and uh, it says quick install on there as well which will be obvious why in just a second so I'm gonna open this up and let's take our first look at it how big that strike zone is so they say it's improved by 600% so the difference here is the non-granulated area. This is supposed to help with the uh, tar adhesion. So you're gonna get a better seal on this shingle. So they, they say you don't, this is the entire zone that you have to nail. You no longer have to hit in this common bond right here, which is only to right there. You see that? So it's about three quarters to an inch is what we normally have to nail. Well, the reason being behind that is the the sealant i just mentioned which they have upgraded to gen 3 or gen 4 i can't remember which one we're on now but uh that's going to seal better and then also all of these little dots here they're already securing that common bond for us so what we usually would have to do with the nails is secure that common bond because this is a laminate shingle all of this is one piece so the back of the shingle down to the teeth and then this, this underside where most of the colors and everything are is the just the laminated side along with that tar. So you'll see on mansards especially, uh, all the shingles, this part will slide out and a lot of times this won't. It's because people were nailing above the common bond. So this part of the shingle wants to stay, but what was originally holding this shingle together was just a thin little tar. Now they've got these, these uh, crimps in here. So, uh, this is going to go on a lot faster now that you don't have to uh, You know for most shinglers now you can nail faster So that speed nailing stuff is going to start flying. I'm a little bit disappointed because the 2020 roof Olympics I'm trying to hold those in November and now uh, You know I wanted the old-school style in there and GAF is probably going to be the one that sponsors this for me I wanted the old style in there, you know for the first competition ever But it looks like these are what we're going to be using so now the speed nailers are going to be able to not get dinged on, you know, I don't know, 10 second, 10 second things or something. I hadn't decided the rules on it yet for bad nails or blow throughs or whatever. But yeah, I just wanted to introduce this to you guys. I don't really know a whole lot about it, but I'm pretty excited to lay it. I'll let you guys know how it goes. So before we uh, get a chance to put on those HTCs, we got to show you guys how to properly install three tabs. We're gonna go ahead and get started running this. We definitely don't want it overhanging the other three tabs we covered with felt, so gotta cut it off. It's okay if those nails pull through like that. So if you're installing a three tab roof, I expect you to follow these, these rules here. Not gonna do much explaining, but you know you don't want that little guy right there. Somewhere in there. Put it on. Yeah. Well, you put it 
random place. It's just how it goes. Boy Cub, boy Cub's getting it. <laughs> Catching on. Send it, send it. Full send. Come on now. Quick clear, quick clear. Oh, I'm on a nail. You brought up the regular nails. I need inch and three quarters, John. Not for the three taps. Oh, all right. But for the two layer. Oh, you were talking about those, uh, whatever they are in the, in the back of your truck. Ah, I put one on sideways. It's okay. Three tabs, <laughs> three tabs can go on sideways, but only when uh, <laughs> only when it's below 50 degrees. Oh, you could have told me. Oh, no, there's a, oh we can use uh, the old singles. That's fine. Give me those architecturals. What did you guys throw away? A bunch of three tabs? Yeah. No, I don't think okay, so. Okay, well, we're mixing in architecturals today. It's another way you can do three tabs. Back of my hand. Thanks, boy cub. Man. You're about to catch the back of my hand if you throw another one like that. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Put this one on a little better. We'll make sure it's nice. Yeah. We'll throw more three tabs. Okay. <laughs> I go get the rest out of my truck. <laughs> <laughs> Since you decided to throw a bunch of them away. Throw any of them. Go ahead, do the walk of shame, boy cup. There's no way I installed the three tabs properly like that. And it ran short. <laughs> These guys don't even know how to room. Don't even know how to roof. Separated. Do something. <laughs> fix this. <laughs> I ain't putting HDZs on this shit. We only need like fucking four or five. No, they don't belong underneath the roof. Yeah. All right, so I'm gonna show you guys what the install looks like here. Um, this is two layers, so it goes on just a little bit different. Oh, ran out. Fun for you, not me. Oh no, I just so I gotta have it still hitting the common bond. But I'll try hitting above it. And you look you see that these are they're a little bit blown blown through, mostly because of the uh, two layers of shingles here and the way that I uh, put on the architecturals and the V tab. on really good and I want to point something out here. Look at this. I just shingled these not too long ago. Oh, sorry. Boy Coop was telling me a lot more of these. Yeah, see, look at I can't get these up. And it's like 40 something degrees here. That was really stuck. No sun, 40 something degrees. So they ain't fooling around about how good this stuff sticks. So, definitely going to want to not leave those out in the sun too, too long. So, we're all done here. The color obviously doesn't match that perfect, but if you look close, it's got the these yellow granules in it, right? Well, these also have the gr yellow granules. Which means it was Weatherwood. Could have been GAF. Could have been um, Landmark. It could have been a different kind. Um, I brought a shingle in, but it didn't really say. So, uh, regardless, even if they, even if they had a bundle down there, and I knew for sure it was GAF Weatherwood or anything like that, when it comes to repairs on an old roof like this that's completely weathered, like you can even see the difference in color beneath the uh, the two penetrations right there. I mean, so the perfect match won't always match perfectly when weather's involved. So anyway, overall, I really, really like these shingles. I can't wait to use them again. Until next time, don't forget to hit that like button.